I want you to hit me as hard as you can. I have been waiting for the world to see that we exist. May I meet the beast? I hope for your sake that he likes you. That sounds like the bad guys teaming up. A lot of people are going to die. Don't do this. Are you ready? What do we call you, sir? First name, Mr. Last name, Glass. Welcome, Joe Blow viewers. This is M. Night Shyamalan. So, it seems that some critics felt compelled to pan Glass. To those people, I just want to say, I'm sorry that you didn't care for it. I was, like, you know, trying to be original and take risks and still keep the story grounded, and I guess you just, like, weren't on board or something. I... Jeez, did you hear that guy? I guess we have a new member of the Horde, and it's M. Night Shama Lama Ding Dong or something. By the way, this is Hedwig. I'm nine. Anyways, what's with all these people criticizing my movie Glass? Saying it's no good or boring or has a bad ending, etc.? Maybe you need to go back and watch it a few more times. So far, every member of the Horde has seen it at least once, etc. Okay, I gotta go because Miss Patricia wants to like. Hello, this is Patricia. I do realize that many of you have been kind and respectful with your thoughts of the film. However, some have been rather naughty with their opinions, and I'm here to now correct them. I'm going to help them see the light, but not give them the light. By now, you all know that all three main characters die tragically, or perhaps heroically. Their deaths, rather their sacrifices, enabled others in the world with special and unique abilities to no longer fear or doubt themselves that superpowers are also real. Each character succeeded in death. David Dunn finally realized his status as a superhero and can now rest in peace with his wife, Audrey. Kevin Wendell Crumb was able to finally take back control of the light and Mr. Glass solidified the fact that he was not a mistake. He also was able to expose the Black Clover Society in that unexpected but lovely final twist. Why such outrage about these deaths? I seem to recall a certain movie called Logan, where the hero died at the end, and he didn't even outsmart his adversaries from beyond the grave. Next, the Beast would like to take issue with the complaint that there was not enough action at the mental institution. <sighs> <sighs> I battled David Dunn at the beginning and the end. Both battles were brutal, gritty, and pure. No distracting CGI. Hello, Marvel. This is how two people with superhuman strength would go at it, and perfectly complemented the film's grounded superhero approach. The mental institution was an ideal middle act for sorting through the theory of what if superheroes existed in real life. The characters' performances were able to shine whilst there. I get so pumped up when I think about the super inspiring scenes in this movie. Seeing David versus the Beast round one, that was so cool. And round two was even better. Or, or when David busted out of his room and got back his poncho out of that store's room and it was waving like a cape. What about when Mr. Glass told his mother that this was an origin story and he was not a mistake? Come on, man. That was poetry worthy of Drake. I, I, also, how about the way this film was shot? So many meaningful and glorious images. The security footage shown during the institution scenes, which hinted at Mr. Glass's endgame. The upside down shots, much like the movie Unbreakable, when crazy things were happening. Also, the usage of colors. I just have to say, Glass was an absolute feast for the eyes. And now, the Beast will deliver 
our closing argument. <sighs> How amazing was the twist involving Mr. Glass's plan? This was always an origin story. Dr. Staple thought she and her Black Clover Society were in control the whole time. But they should not have underestimated the mastermind. Just when you think Mr. Glass is going to end the movie with the broken being defeated, we are treated to the glorious reveal that Mr. Glass was really in control the whole time. Now the world knows our story, and others like us can now rise to greatness. If all of that adds up to a bad movie, then we all should be locked up for being insane. We are not meant to have this much power. <laughs> Finally, all of us together for the world to see what we are capable of. You need to get out of here. What have you done, Elijah?